Good afternoon, YouTubers, friends and family. RV Debs here, and it is Thursday. Um, it's about two in the afternoon, and um, on this video in particular, I will show you some of the new items I bought for my little travel trailer here, my RV, who I call Christine. Um, partly because, um, you know, well, I explain it in the video coming up, so I'll let you wait for that. <clears throat> I wanted to start off this video and get a little bit of a rant off of my chest. Um, I get so many great com comments and, and blessings and, you know, people are so kind and just really communicating with me, which I really do appreciate to the fullest. And every now and then you get a, a comment that just seems to like what would you call it? It just irk you, you know, it really makes you wonder about people. I got two recently and um, one was like telling me that I favor, I favor Lily. I don't, that, that I obviously do, you know, have, don't care about Rosie <sighs> because she's the one that was freaking out in the rain and I carried Lily. Well, just to just to clear something up, first of all, dogs are like children. They're all different, and you love them all. I love my babies. Um, I can't carry Rosie around. She's over 15 pounds. I don't even know what. She weighs about 16 pounds. I have a hernia, and I don't really... I, I just can't, you know. I can pick her up and put her on the bed, which I, I can do, um, or hold her in my lap. But I can't walk around holding her. Plus a bag in my purse. No way. Um, Lily weighs under six, like six pounds, a little less than six pounds. And she's just, you know, easy to pick up. So, you know, because it's like persons like saying that during the storm I was holding Lily and letting Rosie, you know, be on a leash. But that's, that's crazy. First of all, I do love both dogs so much. And you guys that know me know that. Uh, they're both so different, too. You know, Rosie's a Bichon Shih Tzu mix. She's 12 years old. She's got a really good nature. She's very sweet. She doesn't like other dogs very much, but she likes kids, which I'm glad. Lily's the opposite of, of her. She's more feisty, um, moody temperamental. Lily's like, she won't always eat, even if it's like chicken or, or, or steak. She, if she's not in the mood. Um, she loves children and she loves animals. She'll, she'll go up to dogs and kitties. And so she's the opposite. Uh, when it rains and pours, Lily handles it. I mean, you know, if it's a big thunderclack, we all jump. But, um, anyway, so, you know, I love my babies. I would, I would assume this person doesn't uh, doesn't know what they're talking about <clears throat> anyway that bothered me another thing too is somebody said you know, that I don't they didn't understand why people were praying for me to be safe because I didn't have any damage to my house and you know it's like um, I'm very grateful that all the prayers and my prayers and Kathy and Mark's and her mom's prayers answered that nobody here in our town had any damage or, you know, any problems and any, anything where we were lucky. Um, it was within 30 minute drive from here where there, there has, there was damage and things. So I just don't get people sometimes. I really don't. This person was saying that, not sure why everyone is sending you prayers. It sounds like the storm wasn't that bad, I'm reading. If there was no damage, it could have been much worse. Much of the country is getting bad storms, so I'm not so sure why people are focusing on you. You're fine. The only one that seems worse for wear is poor Rosie. People. Get a life. Get a grip. You guys see, you know, 
20 minutes of my life all chopped up together, little bits of days. Not all day, not all night. Um, you know, yeah, Rosie's got a very bad fear of storms, rain, thunder, especially thunder and lightning. I hold her tight. I try to help her. There's not much I can do other than just to give her the security, you know, she's under at my feet underneath my table here if it's raining. I hold her in bed when it's in the middle of the night real close. I mean, all I can that's all I can do. And um I'm we're we're very happy that our town was spared because these storms are bad and they were close and we were very fortunate that they didn't, I mean, we got some hail and we got lots of rain and thunder and lightning, but we didn't have damage. And I'm just really happy that we're okay. And anybody that wants to send prayers for me, I'll take them. Anyway, that's all I want to say about that. <laughs> I do appreciate you guys. And, you know, like I said, 99% of my comments are well-wishers and people that are sharing their life and and uh, are appreciating what I share with you guys because I share a lot but you don't know everything and how could you you know um, but you know who I am I mean I'm, I'm real I'm not fake but I don't I don't I don't think um, I have to share every bit of my life you know I share a lot Anyway, the rest of this video is much more upbeat. So, thanks again for watching. And I'll probably say that a couple times in this. And I will let you guys watch the rest of the video. Today I went to the store and bought a rug. So that when Rosie wants to get down off the couch, she doesn't land on the hard floor. Because she's 12 years old. She turned 12 on the 20th of May. So, yeah. I change the cover on the couch every now and then I do that. And it's it's nice and bright. And, um, oh, I also bought another rug here. I'll show you. So this is my little... It's it's small. It, it's gotten smaller. Um, my kitchen's very small. Everything's small. I mean, I've got all my paints there, <laughs> and this is my only place I sit, which is getting really uncomfortable. Lots of art. That's a picture of Bowie I painted using watercolors. That was my last doggy. He lived 16 years. I bought Rosie when he was 12 to give him a friend. Her, yep, anyway. And my TV, my hall, <laughs> my closet, my drawers. Here, I'll kind of back up. They're, you know, they're small drawers. Everything's kind of small. Hello. Um, In my bedroom. I just changed my sheets. But what I bought was this runner. It just really looks nice and clean and bright there's another painting I painted many years ago I used to do a lot of nudes I think the human body is beautiful to, to paint and let me see I have two closets on one on each side of my bed which is really packed lots of clothes up there is linens and other things like things, 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 things. My new nice bed. So this is my home. You know, I, it's lived in for sure. Ouch. But it's mine. This is kind of messy right now. But I changed the linens and I folded an extra blanket and that's laundry. Yeah. But anyway, I uh, live here, and I don't know how long I'm going to live here. Here's a picture of my husband, right? The last year of his life. Yeah. And that one's Kathy and her sister and her mom and 
step, no, uh, Mark and Mary and her sister, one of her sisters. What else can I show you? That's Kathy did that butterfly with Mark. That's Moon Goddess, my painting I painted. And I put beads and a headdress on her. Three-dimensional. And since I'm showing you stuff, I used to, and I have a lot of them. They're in storage in the, the garage. These are goose eggs, all hand beaded. I used to do a lot of goose eggs many years ago now. I have about 50 of them left. Sold them at the Renaissance fairs. I don't know why I kept that one in the house, but I did. And another painting I've just seemed to keep. Nothing special, really. And I did this naked Jamaican boy. And I just keep it. <laughs> and that's what I do. That's what I'm doing. Hanging out. Thanks for watching. I just thought I'd show you a little bit about what space I live in. It's it's fine. I mean, hey, I, this is four years. I, I've just started to kind of grow out of it because I'm not moving it. I'm not traveling. And I could use a little more of more space for sure. Thanks for watching. I did want to add one thing. See that that shelf there that I, I put together. I bought it at Walmart. It was for my shoes and it still has shoes. But you can see that empty space because Lily, when I leave sometimes, she gets like in a, a mood, like a depressed mood. And she'll come up in there and sleep and move the shoes around till they're falling out. And that's my um, air fryer and my old kettle, which I'm not using anymore. I'm going to put it away. And that's the, the frother, which I got to do a, a video on. And then over there in the bottom is my um, Instapot, my Cressori electric pressure cooker. Really is not Instapot. But anyway, um, Mark is going to build me a, a complete new shelf i'm going to get rid of that and we're going to do a shelf he's going to build me a shelf that goes all the way up the counter and gives me at least another shelf or two you know because why not <laughs> and he can attach it right to that wall if he wants to too let's see if that would give me a little more stuff to put for kitchen things because it's crowded just gets crowded. I don't even want to show you this table. Right now it looks horrible. And that's, uh, I don't even want to tell you. There's so much stuff. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share. I wanted to share my new rugs. Yeah, my rugs are cool. I really like it. I love that one. It's awful grainy, I know. Too close. And I'm going to have a new shelf. Okay. Just wanted to add that in. Good afternoon. It is um, Wednesday. It's um, about 10 minutes to 2 p.m. I'm in my workspace. I just put all of my orders um, in shipping envelopes, and I'm going to take them to the post office. But before I did that, I decided to make one necklace. I sold the other necklace similar but there's really no two alike. But this one's um, 39 inches. It's extra long. And it's got butterflies and turtles and flowers. Lots of bright colors. Beautiful beads. Can you see how pretty that is? It sits... A nice long one right to there listed it on Etsy I appreciate each and every one of you that have purchased from my Etsy shop because you guys make my life easier um, 
I want to buy a new RV. I want to take my dogs to get, well, I'm going to groom them, but um, they need to go to the vet. And uh, just all the things in life we all know, you know, that uh, come up. And uh, it is so nice that I've gotten so much support. And I know you guys like what you're getting because you're ordering me again and again. I have the same customers many times over. Thank you guys very much. So I'm going to um, head in the house because I'm going to go and get my purse and go mail my packages so you can get them. I was going to do it yesterday, but, you know, the weather was so bad the last couple days. But today, birds are singing. It's kind of warm and muggy. Um, and uh, <laughs> so it's a good day for that. And I'm going to tell you I have one more. I, I This is the cobalt blue. It's a really beautiful necklace. And uh, I never wear them. I'm not You know, I would, but I want to sell it. But isn't that gorgeous? I mean, that is cool. So just thought I'd let you know that that is on there. And I won't be making any more um, until I get some more cobalt blue Czechoslovakian beads. And you'll find that there's a lot of stuff still on there on my Etsy shop. So check it out. Look at this one. This is another over the head. And it's a little bit longer than the blue, but it's all natural beads, very neutral. Kind of match anything really. So you can see I've got quite a few made. I'm not gonna show them to you all. I'm gonna have to make you suffer through all that. Um, but I have bracelets, I have all kinds of stuff, and I'm gonna probably not today, but starting tomorrow, I'll start making some more stuff. Thank you again for watching my videos and supporting my channel any way you can. Whether it's a thumbs up, that's fine. If you wanna buy something, that's super duper. <laughs> any of those things. And remember, I do have a post office box listed on the uh, description of the video below, so. You can always send me a, a letter, a card, anything you want. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon. It is Thursday. Rosie and Lily and I are sitting out here. It's nice and mild, the temperature right now. Very, I don't know, very cool. It's supposed to get to 90 today, but it doesn't feel like it. We're getting a little bit of clouds. What do you say? What do you say, baby girl? Anyway, um, so we're going to get some rain tomorrow. Which is fine. Chickens are doing good. Getting bigger.